is Dr. Bev Knox and you are listening to my psychology tutorials, learn psychology while you sleep. What is moral development? Moral development involves changes in thoughts, feelings, and behaviors regarding right and wrong. Moral development includes intrapersonal and interpersonal dimensions. Piaget distinguished between the morality of younger children and older children. Kohlberg developed a proactive theory of moral reasoning. He argued that the development of moral reasoning consists of three levels, pre-conventional, conventional, and post-conventional, and six stages, two at each level. Kohlberg reasoned that these stages were age-related. Influences on the Kohlberg stages include cognitive development, dealing with moral questions and moral conflict, care relations, and perspective taken. Criticisms of Kohlberg's theory have been made, especially by Jillian, who advocates a stronger care perspective. These criticisms focus on the inadequacy of moral reasoning to predict moral behavior, to account for the influences of culture and family, and to assess moral reasoning. The processes of reinforcement, punishment, and imitation have been used to explain acquisition of moral behavior, but they provide only a partial explanation. Situational variability is stressed by behaviorists. Social cognitive theory emphasizes a distinction between moral competence and moral performance. In Freud's theory, the superego is the moral branch of personality. According to Freud, guilt is the foundation of children's moral behavior. Empathy is the important aspect of moral feelings and it changes developmentally. In the contemporary perspective, both positive and negative feelings contribute to moral development. Recently, there has been a surge of interest in studying moral personality. This interest has focused on moral identity and moral character. Moral character involves having strong convictions, overcoming distractions and obstacles, having virtues such as honesty, truthfulness, loyalty, and compassion. Social cognitive domain theory states that there are different domains of social knowledge and reasoning to include moral, social conventional, and personal domains. How do parents and schools influence moral development? Warmth and responsibility in moral obligation of parent-child relationships provide important foundations for the child's positive moral growth. Love withdrawal, power assertion, and induction are disciplined techniques. Induction is most likely to be linked with positive moral development. Moral development can be advanced by parenting techniques such as being warm and supportive rather than punitive using inductive discipline, providing opportunities to learn about others' perspectives and feelings, involving children in family decision-making, modeling moral behaviors, and averting misbehavior before it takes place. In schools, the hidden curriculum intentionally described by Duray is the moral atmosphere of each school. Contemporary approaches to moral education include character education, values, clarification, cognitive moral education, learning services, and integrative ethical education. 
Cheating is a moral education concern that can take many forms. Various aspects of the school situation influence whether students will cheat or not. What is meant by pro-social and anti-social behaviors? An important aspect of pro-social behavior is altruism, an unselfish interest in helping others. Damon described a sequence by which children develop their understanding of fairness and become willing to share more consistently. Peers play a key role in this development. Forgiveness and gratitude are two additional aspects of pro-social behavior. Now let us review antisocial behavior. Conduct disorder is a psychiatric diagnostic category used to describe multiple delinquent type behaviors occurring over a six month period. Juvenile delinquency consists of a broad range of behaviors from socially undesirable behavior to status offenses. For legal purposes, a distinction is made between index and status offenses. Predictors of juvenile delinquency include authority conflict, minor covert acts such as lying, overt acts of aggression, a negative identity, cognitive distortions, low self-control, early initiative of delinquency, being a male, low expectations of education and school grades, low parental monitoring, low parental support, and ineffective discipline. Also, having an older delinquent sibling How does religious and spiritual development play a role in moral development? Many children and adolescents show a interest in religion. Many children adapt their parents' religious beliefs. The 21st century has shown a countdown in adolescents' religious interests. Emerging adults from less developed countries are more likely to be religious than those from more developed countries. Cognitive changes in adolescents, such as increase in abstract abstract, idealist, and logical thinking increases the likelihood that adolescents will seek a better understanding of religion and spirituality. As part of their search for identity, many adolescents and emerging adults begin to grapple with more complex aspects of religion. Various aspects of religion are linked with positive outcomes in adolescent development.